The Harvard Crimson took the floor tonight with a chance to punch its ticket for the big dance. But Cornell waltzed into Laviette's pavilion with dreams of spoiling the Crimson's plans. A win over rival Cornell, combined with a loss by Princeton at Brown, would clinch the Ivy League title for the Crimson, and with it, an automatic NCAA bid. Harvard opened up a big lead in the first half behind strong shooting from senior co-captain Christian Webster and junior guard Laurent Rivard. Webster was 2 of 3 from beyond the arc and scored all seven of his points in the first half, helping the Crimson to a 32-24 lead at halftime. In the second half, it was freshman point guard Siani Chambers who got hot from deep. Chambers' strong play helped Harvard extend its lead to as large as 15 points in the second half. The Crimson had to overcome a poor shooting night by leading scorer Wesley Saunders, who went 3 of 11 from the field. He's been our leading scorer, uh, but when he, when he shoots 3 for 11, uh, that, that's, that was very shocking to me. Cornell didn't make it easy, however. The Big Red pulled within 5 with just over 2 minutes to go, but Saunders was able to contribute to the win from the charity stripe, hitting 8 of 12 free throws, including some important ones as the clock wound down. Harvard was able to knock down enough free throws down the stretch to clinch the win 65-56. to After the win, many fans stuck around to watch Princeton lose to Brown in the gym as players and coaches celebrated during the post-game press conference. Um, obviously for us to have an outright title uh, for our second one of that and our third overall titles uh, consecutive, I mean, that's an incredible testament to these young men. We had the chance to close at home and we knew Princeton had some tough games and you know we could only control how we played and we, we could only take care of like, our business and I mean it all played out pretty well for us. So. The Ivy League title is the third in a row for Webster and the Crimson and for him it's the most special. For me and Laurent to lead the team to this is just unbelievable for me and uh, I couldn't ask for it any better way. Like, it's just unbelievable. Now all the Crimson players can do is wait and see who will be their dancing partner for the first round of the Big Dance to be announced next Monday. Reporting for WEBN Boston, I'm Matt Johnson.